so let me get back to my router as usual uh, terminal let's continue now as i said previously you can uh, go through the initial stages and look at the user mode the privilege mode the configuration mode now back one step so there's a command you can run in the privilege mode called show run or show running configuration so show run as i said if you don't remember the full command you can press the tab to complete the command for you but the short form for this very command is show run which will show you the same thing so this command uh, tells you all the settings on your system so we have what the host name as what router so i have spanetry mode i have my uh, interfaces so as you can see uh, all that i've done in this very uh, device i've not done any configurations as of now so i can do the same command by doing show run okay so there's another thing i have to show you before i start my uh, real configurations like my host name setting my enable password and all that now let's say i'm in the global configuration mode right and if you see from here i'm able to run this command show run and it shows me the details of my device so since i'm here and i want to show or i want to see the details of my device i have to go step back i have to step back towards enable mode but if i don't want to step back there's a command i have to use that to do show run now you see it shows me what the same thing now the thing is any command that i run in the enable mode when i'm in the configuration mode i can bring do and then the command follows now mind you when you bring do and you don't remember the command and you use tab it's not going to work for you okay so for example do show so you can see when i press the tab key is never going to what complete the command for me that is the uh, the only disadvantage you will get when you are using the do when you are using do that means you have to know the command you are typing you have to type it full or if you know the shortcut you type it in shortcut and to give you what your results but if you are in the configuration mode and then you are using do to run a command which is in the enable mode or privilege mode and you are trying to use the tab it's never going to work for you unless you are in that particular mode and you use the tab to work for you likewise you can be in the privilege mode or the enable mode and then you type a command in the configuration mode no it doesn't work that way so please those are the things you have to note okay now let's get down digging into what our initial configuration now i still have my device name as router so i need to change the device name so what i'll bring is hosts even when i bring hos and i press tab you see it completes the command for me so if i bring question mark to see what i have to type next word this system network name so what name do i want to give to this very router so lt1 
so you can see the name has changed here the name of the router has changed so this is just the first step now the next step is to uh, provide the enable password now let me go back one step and then another step good so now i'm in the user mode now the enable mode is where you have privilege to do a lot of things so if there's no password in the enable mode then that means whoever gets into the enable mode can do anything to your device so the moment i type enable you're supposed to ask me for password before even this prompt come but this we've not set the password so it just sent out straight to the privilege mode or the enable mode then from there i can go towards the configuration mode and i can start doing justice to this device so to prevent someone from there so you have to bring enable now question mark now as you can see from the uh, initial setup we did on the switch which we went through the questioning of the device we have password and then we have what secret okay don't worry we'll be setting the two and then looking at what the difference between the two so first we'll set what password then from there later we'll come and set what the enable secret so let's set enable password so i'll give this cisco one okay so i've just put password on the enable uh, now let me get back to the enable mode and then get back to the user mode so i'm here now let me type enable so you can see now i have to provide password because i have a set password what on the enable so here i have to provide what cisco one so then because i know the password i'm able to grant access then i can go to my configuration mode and then do other configurations now here uh, even the console we are connected to we can set password for it okay so let's do that so line so question mark whenever. now if you type a command and you bring question mark, you can actually list what you can do at a particular command and if you should forget about some command which is very long and then you bring question mark okay you see through the list you can remember now you can see console that's the primary terminal line so i can set uh, password for that then we have the line vt that's what the virtual terminal if you remember when we set the password for the virtual terminal on the what switch when we are going through what the initial setup from the system okay so i'll go for console now for console is only one port so you can see zero of zero so it's only one port so i only have to bring zero run your command so enter you see it changes what my prompt again configure line so question mark again for us to see the things we can do in this particular interface so these are initial so we'll just maintain it as simple as this because this is uh you'll be doing a whole lot big we'll be looking at this that's the exec time out okay we'll be setting what password that one is very important then uh, i think that's it we just put login okay banner will come okay we'll be talking about banner right but you can set banner for the what this particular interface but we'll set banner for the entire device okay later as we go on so let me bring here password so i have to provide my 
password so that will be console one so i'll bring log in exact time out minute so now let's say i'll log into the console uh, port and then and uh, i'm doing some configuration then uh, for a while i've been idle so the number of minutes the system interface is being idle like the way it's being idle right now and i'm talking it can just log off for me to what reconnect again it's a form of security this time out so we just you can just put a three there okay then i think we are okay and i'm good to go so let me okay in this mode i can just type end which will send me straight to the enable mode or the privilege mode straight up so any other uh, interfaces i am doing other configurations whatever level i am the moment i type what end it sends me to the you can see it now translating end domain server 555.5555 now this thing happens uh, to the devices that is if you type a wrong command in a mode now it's trying to locate a domain server by broadcasting and this is going to take some time for the system to come back system okay is back now we can we can type a command to avoid this later we'll be looking at that but for now let's concentrate on the initial configuration so let me just go for exit so you can see press enter so you see now it's not like the previous where you have the user mode you see now i have to provide password for the console interface so which is console one so now i can have what the user interface that when i type enable to i have to provide what password which is uh, cisco one okay so there i have it now the next one we have to configure is the virtual terminal which is the um, line vty so what i'll do is line vty question mark good so first line number right so it's best when you go in forward the cisco default port we have uh, you can open sessions from 0 to 15 that's 16 session at the go at a time so 16 people can what log in at a time but by default this is not enabled so now i'm going to enable but is best to enable just five session at a time so let's look at something do show i believe you remember this do show run so you can see like v2 was zero to four so by default it allow you to what to open this session which is more secure and more good for the what device so i'll just go for line sorry line vty 04 so i'm going to open just this five session so 0 1 2 3 4 so computer start counting from zero anyway so remember that now here when i bring the question mark likewise I'll be setting what executive time then banner will be setting that on the entire device so that we'll do that we don't want to do it on each interface differently so we'll set password okay 
then I think uh, this you can set what you call transports as well so that one to later we'll be looking at that so let's see password so line vty oh sorry line vty one so login because it's for login then exact time out so same i'll make it three then transport we'll be looking at transport later okay so let me exit from this interface we'll be looking at this later so here i can go straight towards enable mode or privilege mode you can see so here too i can add a uh, disable same so move back so i can exit as well so any of them so here now i have to provide password which is console one so enable which is what is cool one okay now let's look at what we have done so far on this very system so you can see host name is what rt1 enable password cisco you see it's in plain text because enable password is in plain text this if someone is standing behind me and i should run a uh, show uh running config running config this then the person will be able to see oh your enable password is what cisco one then coming down you can see i have what my console also in plain text and then i have my line vty password also in plain text so i want to hide them a bit so into the configuration mode so what the command i have to run is service password encryption this very command service password encryption and i run this and then i do do show run i don't want to go back to the enable mode again before i uh, type in this very command so i want to run the command from this very interface so do show run so now you can see the cisco one has been encrypted a bit for me okay this is a bit okay so that no one will stand behind me and then see my password as plain as it is now for the enable mode we, now we can set what enable secret level so that we can compare the two encryption this is being encrypted but let's compare the two encryption so here enable so this will be secret oh sorry secret so this will be cisco 2 okay So here I can also run my command. Now, if you've already typed a command and you want uh, to call the command back or retype the command, you can use the arrow keys. That's the arrow keys. That's out, down, and up. Okay, when you press up, it shows you the current down, bringing you the previous ones. So i can just call back the command like this then enter so now let's compare the two you can see enable secret encryption is higher than what enable password okay we got that one we just do service password encryption you see this encryption and so this one uh, they are far different mind you we have set uh uh enable secrets and then enable password 
Now the system will choose enable secret over enable password. So the system will only allow you to log in now with what enable secret. This the system will no longer accept it because this one the encryption what is too weak. So if I should go back, okay. Let me just go back. Good. So console one. I'm in. So enable. Here I have to provide my Cisco. Cisco one will never allow me. So Cisco two will be the one to accept because that is what I use for what my enable secrets. My neighbor password will no longer what be accepted by the system if the two is active, except that I've not set what the neighbor secret. The system will choose to use the what the neighbor password. But the moment you bring a neighbor secret, the system will no longer use what the neighbor password. It's going to always use the neighbor what secret. Now. Let's look at I've set my initial configuration. Now I'm left with what the banner which I need to set. So conf t as the configuration mode. So banner the MOTD that's message of the day. So here let's look at something line c banner text c where c is a delimiting character so it means any character i bring character first i have to end the message with the same character so that the message will be in between two characters that like we have c banner text c okay here i have a dollar sign so now i count bring my message warning do not touch this so dollar so since i'm done with my message so I have to close this. Now let me go to my okay. There's one thing you have to know: password, username, and other stuff. They are case sensitive. So if you are typing password, username, and all that, or uh, name and all that, they are very case sensitive. Case sensitive. So a very case. As this come now, I have to provide what my console. One uh, console one good so enable. I have to provide my enable secrets because I told you I have the two uh, Cisco. Sorry, two good. So here I'm able to provide my credentials, so I'm in so. Now, mind you, after doing all this, I've not saved it, so it is still in the RAM. So, if this system should go off right now, or I should restart it, all that I have typed or the configuration that I've done, all of them lost because I've not saved it. Now, to say we have uh, three shortcut no we have two shortcut but we have the let me show you the actual command for saving so we have running config startup config this is the command for saving so enter destination file name i don't have that it's on the system so either that i'll go for it. copy run 
start is the shortcut you see same or i'll go for it, wr so if so for this saving since it's what in the enable mode if you're in the global configuration mode then you have to bring what do running config startup config if you know how to type the entire name or do copy run start to save your configurations for you so from here if i should reboot the system right now everything will still be intact so reboot sorry uh, reload sorry is reload if i should reload that means i'm restarting the system and the way you restart a computer or you restart your phone so i'm going to do that to this very device uh, yes continue so, okay so you can see press return to start so that means my system is ready ah so you can see warning do not touch this user access verification so i have to provide my console password so my neighbor mode to i have to provide this is go to ah, you can see so now i have to have access to what's the configuration so now i've done my initial configurations and we are good to go all right so i'll pause here i don't want to make my videos too long so the next session we'll be looking at how to connect to the device using what remote logon using the line vty that's the virtual terminal so that we can take off our console cable so from then on our system can be connected remotely thank you so much and thank you for enjoying my video please subscribe because i'll be adding more videos to the channel